Welcome back. With all the talk about the new movie Iron Man 3, we thought it would be cool to do an experiment with metal. So today, Chemical Kim is here to show us how to pull iron out of the cereal we eat for breakfast. What are you that's doing? That's right. That's right. That's right. What yes, we that? are going to do an amazing experiment. And Catherine, it's Iron Women today, right? Oh, exactly. exactly. Say it. Because we are going to use the power of women, the power of science, to pull some iron. And we're going to pull some iron and do some amazing science with it. What did and you this just is, do here? This is ferrofluid. And this is a magnetic liquid that I'm going to teach kids how to make at home. It is such a really unique material, having the main ingredient being iron. Hmm. And you know iron is plentiful in our Earth's crust. And we can get iron in so many different places. But what kids need is really, really small small size of iron, really small pieces of iron. Yes. And there's two places that they can get it really quite easily. Okay. okay. The first is actually fortified cereal that says 100% iron. I cannot and believe this. It's so interesting. I know. I know. And believe it or not, at the factories, I think that, you know, they just sweep the factory floor and little bits of iron, they just throw right there in the cereal. So, yeah. <laughs> but I think that that's, you know, perhaps Listen one of the... Listen with a careful <laughs> ear, sift a little. So this is, this is actually um, an entire box right here. I put into the Are blender an entire box of total cereal. Okay. So there you go. There's your breakfast for now, the Now, do morning. I need to wear my glasses? Yes, yeah, so let's put some safety glasses on. And what I have done is taken a strong magnet, yes. and I'm sticking in, stick it into a, a Ziploc bag, and you just, you know, stir it into the cereal. And I want to let you know, I did add a little extra iron just so that you can see this on television. For TV. Right, but you will actually, kids will actually see, they will actually be collecting little bits of iron when they do this experiment. But you want to fine chop the cereal. And what you'll, and it might take a few refining processes. And what right. I've done is put it in a bag so that I can pull my magnet, magnet without, and you can see the little black. The yes. Little black. And then you could refine it even more by oh coming in co coming and in leaving again. the crumbs. And then you have even more refinement of your iron. Look at that. See that. So that is one source of the iron. The other source of iron, which wow. is even better, is beach sand. And you know when you go to the shores of Lake Michigan? You see the little bit of the black speckle. Exactly, exactly. And you're laying out in the sun. And while you're laying out in the sun, dig some magnets into the soil. As the soil's washing up to the shore, yes. you're getting this magnetite, which is iron, okay? And okay. it's magnetic. And so I'm going to let you do this, Catherine. You're going to stick that into the beach sand. Stir. And we're wow. going to refine. Look at that. Look at that. And I, I blocked it with my hand for the camera shot. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but you Jeez. see all that iron? Oh, my Isn't that word. wonderful? Yes. Isn't that wonderful? And kids can do this at the beach. And it's so fun. And they can collect this. Did you jack this up a little bit? Or is this just like... This, you do get a lot of iron out of beach sand. Oh, my There's word. no question. I mean, I've, I've done this with my kids so many times. We'll dig into the... We'll lay it right on the surface of the sand. Yeah. And we'll pull that iron right out. So we bring this home. We bring yes. this home, okay. and this is the experiment that kids are going to do now okay. with their iron. And in fact, let's use our beach sand iron. Okay, Why not? we let's got make a lot of one. Okay, because yeah, we definitely have a lot of it. And like I said, putting it in a Ziploc bag gives you that ability to actually take the iron off yeah. of the magnet without it sticking to your magnet. Sort of. So, sort of. This is a I know, it's a really, 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 really strong, really, really strong magnet. Okay. Okay. So there so you go. There we so go. we got, we have our iron. Okay. Yep. And I'll add a little bit more iron for this experiment. Okay. And then what you're going to do is make a liquefied magnet. All right. To do that, you're going to take your vegetable oil. Yes. And you're just going to squirt, squirt, you know, quite a large quantity of that vegetable. You can even pour a little bit in there oh, if you okay. want. And we're going Tell to make when. this, that's good. We're going to make this quite viscous. So mix that together. Okay. And pretty much the viscosity of, of, of between oil and water. Okay. Okay. Oil has a, has a lower viscosity. Water has a higher viscosity. Oil yes. run, runs really, really fine. And you have now this liquid, right? Yes. What do you think? It looks That looks good. Nice that looks very, thick very, very thick. Yeah. Exactly. Not too much, you know, that you want it too much like honey. And what we're going to do now is pour that onto a plate. Okay. And let's look at the properties of this liquid. Now, this is called ferrofluid. Okay. Ferrofluid, which is a liquefied magnetic material. And okay. you can actually find ferrofluid in things like speakers and um, drive shafts on a... On a um, on hard drives and so forth. But look at what happens when I take can a strong you, let's magnet. Tilt it a little bit so they can get the camera. And it, you, you can, can see move these it around spikes. with the magnet. You can see these spikes right there on the liquid. 
And it's, then, oh, go ahead. It's like that little game where we used to play that with the kids, and you put a mustache on a guy's head by moving. Yes, the, exactly, exactly. Yeah. And I just put that on my face, and then I take it and I put it around. You know, ah. you know, put a little ferro fluid on the face there, Catherine. Okay, but then what we're going to do is watching how it pours as a liquid, and then look at what it's doing on this bolt. See how it yeah. spikes up right there on the bolt? Yes. And kids can definitely play with that. The, they can't be hurt by that the, at all. Not at all. And they can play with the magnetism of the ferro fluid. I and then love if it. you really, really want to get, um, you know, as you build up the viscosity, yes. or lower the viscosity, make and it you more really, really liquidy. want it to make it more liquidy, and you can spike it right there onto your magnet, your magnet with, with, with bolts set up and make really, really cool spikes. See, Iron Man is just not a piece of fiction from the movies, or Iron Women. Iron you can women, find more activities right. from Chemical Kim on our website, WZZM13.com, under Take 5 Live.